What you doing, Deb? I'm clipping and cutting. I'm clipping these fence wire bracket thingies is what I'm clipping and cutting. She will. What's up guys? Brad here from Piney Grove. Deb here. And what we're doing today is we're gonna tear down this fence line. And by tear down, I mean remove the wire. We got these T-posts here going all the way down the back uh, fence line of our property, all the way down. And we cleared that out several years ago, but the fence wire is very rotten. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull off as much of this fence wire as we can. We've already bought the wire to restring it, and then we'll put in some H braces. So uh, tag along with us today and see how much we get done. We left this corner almost a year ago when we're back in the corner again. We'll see how this goes with little belly smelly, but I think she's gonna be a bit of a hindrance, but a cute hindrance. Okay, while Deb's doing that, I'm gonna jump on the Kubota and go get some posts for our H braces, then they measure this out down here and put them evenly spaced down there. Okay, that's all the posts we need for one H brace. I got two eight inch round posts and one four inch round post. And Deb is still clipping. Deb's gonna be clipping for a while. She's pretty good at that. I'm gonna measure now down here and see how far this is and then see how to evenly space these, these H braces. So going up to Deb way up there, it is 600 and we'll call it 90 feet, 690 feet. But that's how much fence wire we have to put up. We have to put up about 700 feet of fence wire. And I've got several rolls I bought already. They come in rolls of 330 feet. So it'll take um, two rolls plus a little bit off of a third roll. We see Bella here and we got Miss Piney Grove, hard at work. So this fence has been in here so long that I can't tell if it's got a clip on the bottom. Or if that the wire is just buried, so we'll, I guess we'll see that when we start pulling it with the tractor, if it comes up. If not, I'll clip. Do you want to, um, did I put pliers or something in that bucket that you can dig in there? You want something? Well, to dig? I guess. <laughs> if you haven't caught on, that was a no. She doesn't want pliers or anything to well, dig. I'm hoping that it just pulls up when you pull it with the tractor. Yeah, and it could, but if it's still got a clip around the T-post, then it would get stuck. So I'm gonna go get her something to dig with. Apparently I'm digging, and Bella's still mad. All right, Deb, I heard you got a little story to tell. I don't know if Bella's gonna be invited back, because as much as I love her, she is a added stressor. I clip her a couple posts down or posts down, and as I work my way down, I clip her again. I look up and she's tried to climb under Where? the fence. Right there. Well, like under under here. Okay. And I fussed at her and she backed out. When she backed out, her harness got caught. She swiggled herself completely out of her harness and started to walk away. <laughs> but luckily she's got a lot better. She listened and she came back and she's harnessed, but it just goes to show that we can't we can't turn our back on Bella. So for right now, I'm done with tractor work. So I'm gonna grab the chainsaw and just go down this fence row and any limbs that are hanging over, just kind of clear them out. So there's a couple of small trees I wanna take out. I think they're six inches or so. And I get them out of the way. So the next step will be bring the mini in here and prep this for new wire. She's just clipping away. We asked people to guess how many days it would take to do this fence and Carmen, one of our one of our viewers and loyal uh, commenters said- We love you, Carmen. <laughs> we do, we love you, Carmen. Um, said six days. What's your estimate now that we've started this? Oh, Carmen, love you, but I'm gonna say four, four days and maybe part of another. I think that's, that's a valid estimate because a day to take down the wire and a day of excavator and tractor work to get it nice and packed and level and dig out some stumps and stuff and then maybe a day of wire and H bracing, and then maybe a final day of wire and Deb's favorite, the little clippy things that go around the T-post. All right, my dear, lunch is served. I'm almost all the way done with the clips. So I still hold to my four and a half day timeline on this. It's going pretty quick. We've not actually been here that long and the clips are almost out. Brad's cleaned up a lot. I think we're gonna um, we're gonna leave here today feeling really good. Oh, 
where we at, babe? I feel like the posts are multiplying. Yeah? The closer I get to the end, I swear there's another post that pops. The end is right there. I know, It's right I, there. I feel like the end has been right there for quite a while. Eight posts. I have only eight posts to go. I don't know how many I've done, but I've only got eight posts to go. Six, seven clips per post. I'm close. I'm close to being done. I think I'm done. I thought I had to go all the way to the corner. But the corner up until right here is fencing that was replaced a couple years ago. It was just from here all the way back there. I think I'm done. I don't think he'll want to re-pull that fencing right there. <laughs> How clever is that? We need the fencing on this side of the post so we can fold it up. So he is skilled with the tractor, so he's just using a bucket. From way down there all the way to where the tractor is he's got the fencing in front so it's disconnected and it's in front for easy pulling and there's not that much left to do Right, lady what's left roll on the fence wire that's it for today that's all that's left for today <laughs> got it in front and all we got to do is roll it up put it aside and go home for the day but that's right we got all the wire on this side just roll it up and we'll come back later with the excavator the hydraulics and really squish up that wire and either cart it off to the dump or you might just dig a big hole right here behind the tractor and bury it about eight foot deep and uh that's where it'll that's where it'll lay its bones for the rest of his life Got a little problem here, don't we, Deb? We do. It's growing right into the tree. Go ahead and clip that off. Get it down there. Sure did. Grew right into there. What was that again? I said, not a problem that the clippies can't solve. <laughs> Easy breezy, chicken greasy. We'll go up to the first tree that stops us, cut it there, start a new roll. It's a nice roll of wire you got there, mister. Time to start a new roll. It's pretty much intact. I mean, it's a rotten fence, but being able to get it whole like this and roll it's a lot easier than what we did last time, pulling out little pieces with a chain. I think we can sell this at Tractor Supply tonight. Nicely rolled up. Probably get, I don't know, buck 50? Maybe. Piece of chewing gum? Maybe. A beef stick? I think a laugh. I think you'd get a laugh. <laughs> I think you'd get kicked out of their store. Probably. It's a roll of tetanus right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. All right, folks, that was the last bit of the roll. We did one, two, three, three rolls. Bella has continued to be a pain in the butt. That's gonna do it. We did exactly what we said we were gonna do um, or what we plan to do, which yep. is rare. And that was to uh, get all the old wire off of the post and uh, get it ready for some tractor work. So what's your final thoughts for today, Deb? My final thoughts are I'm glad it's done because it was it's not difficult, but it's just um, tedious, right? I think the rest of it's going to go much quicker. Yeah, glad that it's done. Glad that we're going to have security on the back of the property here. Stay tuned for future videos on this fence. We sure appreciate you guys watching. Please click that like button. Otherwise, that's all we've got. So until next time, y'all take care. And remember what, babe? Life is hard. Nope. <laughs> Otherwise, that's all we've got. And remember. Life is hard. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise that's all we've got so until next time y'all take care and what is it we say deb well what he says is life is short tractor hard that's right life short tractor hard y'all take care <laughs> take care